Welcome to Post to Post, the first instructional video designed for ball hockey goalies. This video will cover what I call the integrated approach, which encompasses the five most important aspects of ball hockey goaltending. They are equipment, stance and positioning, movement, situational play, and off rink drills. By the end of the movie, goalies will have the knowledge they need to be consistent, confident netminders that will be assets to whichever team they play for. From a goalie's perspective, wraparounds are always tricky to handle. You need to be able to match the attacking player for speed, and at the same time, deal with the fact that he or she is behind you, and thus can easily fool you with a well-timed change of direction. So let's break the process down. Step 1. Track the ball. In any in-game situation, least of all when the player with the ball is behind you, you cannot operate blind. Thus, you have to watch his or her movements at all times. To ease the strain on your neck, turn your body slightly towards the player. Also, keep your knees bent a considerable amount more than in your normal stance. This allows for quicker movement from post to post. Another important note to make is that the goalie should be standing. Remember, you're not playing on ice where it is possible to push off the post and slide across the crease. Step 2. Hug the post. Once the player gets across to the other side and moves to stuff the ball in the net, the goalie needs to get right up against the near post and take away any holes through which the attacking player might have otherwise scored. The legs should be positioned in the same way as if the goalie was making a half pad save. The upper body, however, is completely different. The arm closest to the post, the blocker arm in this case, should be kept tight against the iron. The stick should be down flat against the ground, protecting the 5 hole. Step 3. The Smother. Rebound control is extremely important in point blank situations. As soon as you make the first save, pounce on the ball. Cover it with any means possible. Use the trapper to cover it up, or protect it using your stick. If all else fails, just fall on top of it. As long as the ball stays out of the net, everything works.